Okay, Brett, this is, um, I think, this is roughly where the, um, the coordinates you gave me on uh, Google Maps are. Um, I can't get a 3G signal up here, so I can't double check that, but if you look at this bridge, um, it goes up for about maybe 150, 200 meters, and either to the left or the right, there's a sort of uh, platforms, if you like, we, where it looked like it would be a good place to get married. From the pictures you sent me as well on the other website, I think this is roughly where he is. It's the only part of the Glen where there's a stream running through it. Um, the terrain um, up here is kind of funny. If you go to the, uh, the left of the bridge, uh, it looks wider, it looks a bit more safe, but it's soft ground, there's sort of a couple of hidden bumps and there's marshes up there. Um, so if Liz's mum is going up there, she might need a bit, a bit of help, but she'll be okay. What's interesting is the uh, the path to the right of the bridge. Um, it's a lot flatter. Uh, it might be more accessible. And there is, you can't see it from here, but further up the top there, there is a nice little flat spot, uh, spot not spot, um, to get married on. You can sort of decide this on the day, but to be honest, the terrain won't be too bad. Um, obviously it's a bit softer now with the snow, the ground's a bit more moist, but that'll clear up hopefully in the summertime. Uh, round here to the right is the main path down. Now it's quite steep, but it's all tarmacked road. There shouldn't be too much drama getting up and down here. And then further round, I'll just spin around, sorry, I'll show you this part first. There's a the bridge, and a walkway again all the way up. This is the sort of roughest part of the terrain. It goes up, down, around, and you can just see Castle Campbell there. And again, it's all fully tarmacked, so it shouldn't be much of a problem. Um, so I hope this gives you a better idea.